Beauty Beloves. I wasn't gonna come on here, but I got off the phone with my baby sister and she gets on my nerves. She's like, oh, so you mean you're not gonna put up what you're cooking? So I was telling her that I was making a shrimp flatbread pizza and it's with CPAC. It gives you the whole kit, but you gotta know what to do with it. Um, here's my shrimp. Here's my mozzarella. I have my pan that I'm gonna put it in. Here is my flatbread. I have my flatbread, my hands are clean. And here's the flatbread. You take the Pam spray, you don't have to, I do, I don't like it to stick. It's the olive oil. Place these on here, like this. And then you'll take um, the shrimp first and you'll place the shrimp on here. And it's the shrimp from the sea pack with the scampi sauce. So you'll place those on the pan with a long top of the uh, flatbread. These shrimp, they got um, scampi seasoning on them and you'll put it on top of the flatbread. Guys, this is so good. I'm not even gonna lie. I mean, like when I saw this in a store, I was like, I got to try that. So I've, I've posted it one time before, but I didn't really go through the steps with you. So, all right, so you got your flatbread and your shrimp on here. Then you'll take the cheese. And it's just easy steps. It's one, two, three, and it cooks in 20 minutes, okay? Excuse how I look, I'm sorry, whatever. I'm home. But, um, and then you'll take the cheese and you put the cheese on top of the flatbread. Now these are for the people that love flatbread, and I like flatbread, it's really good. Um, and then you'll take the cheese, like I said, and put it on top. I have to crunch that up more. Uh, on top of the flatbread and the shrimp. And I'm taking this and crumbling it up because it is still kind of together. So I'm gonna separate it. So I hope y'all had a great day today. And um, you got out some of the ones that are quarantining still and still in the house, you got outside a little bit and got to do a couple of things, especially the ones that's got the kiddos and having a homeschool and all that's over with. That's a good thing. But anyway, so this is how it looks. It's with the cheese on top and then you just pop it in the oven. Um, I will show it to you once it's finished and stay tuned. Smooches.